policeman. Just kind of going about his business, ho hum. Another, another fairway. That's the way he looks like he plays to me all the time, kind of ho hum. Don't see a lot of emotion, but boy, he plays good a whole lot. Williams yeah. back on the bag for a couple of weeks. That's a good. That's a good par. The eleventh played as the second most difficult hole yesterday. Yeah, Leishman has a pretty good test right here with his birdie putt at the twelfth. A pretty speedy one down the hill to this back hole location. Oh, How about that? Well, he made over <laughs> a bunch of putts yesterday. 90 feet of putts. It's like rain overnight. Might help him. Oh, my goodness. Oh, what a fabulous shot. <laughs> I thought he was going to hole it. I the thought you said it was going to be not, hard. <laughs> the, well, the only reason that's not a 10 is it didn't go in the hole. It'd be special if he makes this. No worries. Very well done. Critical on this putt uh, in order to get the read correct. There's the right. <laughs> well, he had the line right, but not the pace. So this for par. Well, all in all, a bogey's not too bad when you have a three shot lead. You can afford to make the odd bogey. You just don't want to compound your errors and start to make doubles and others. Oh, this is aggressive. This is right at the flagstick. Beautiful play there from our leader, Mark Leishman. Well, as yeah, you said earlier, a hole Something that he eagled yesterday and good tee shot here. Actually, three really good tee shots. At least I don't remember any of the good ones. The leashman up ahead. A well, little indecision here, but uh, I thought it was a great hole location yeah. for him. And yeah. Starts on the proper line. Yeah, and I think that is more than acceptable right there, Paul. Absolutely. 12 under par, hitting quality shots. Hmm. I think after watching Piercy's putt, uh, this is one that he'll make with regularity. Although he kind of just eased into that one. That uh, when it's your week, Kratz. That you know, it looked like he just kind of gave up on that. And it just kind of just wiggled on down there. Well, like about a foot off the putter, it hit something and bobbled, and that's when he was like, "Oh, it's not going to get there." Yeah, decent, decent shot there. And it's going to be 20, 25 feet, but speed, especially midway, it's going to start moving to his right. Just got to hit it. There it is. Another putt drop for Mark Leishman. The good ones are going, the bad ones are going, and this man is a rolling 14 under. But uh, looks like the wind is a little more left to right. This over the left corner of the bunker. That appeared to be a great line. Oh, it's rolling up through the green, just past the almost hit the flagstick. Now it's going over and it'll feed away from the green. Got deflected by a sprinkler head right up against the television tower. Too concerned with uh, getting this one to the hole. Down green, down wind. Four of his last five. Making it look easy. That's how you follow up a really low round. You do it with another low round. Yeah. Back at the sixth a moment ago, Mark Leishman with his second. Oh, 190 yards and this whole location squeezed all the way over to the left, Brian. Back into the re breeze. Avoiding the bunker that's 325 out. And I like the design element really where if you challenge that hazard, that Blackland Prairie down the left hand side, it gives you the best angle the way this green is situated. 